Okay, today we're gonna to be unboxing the Nova Pro UHD Junior. Um, this is the 4K processor with built-in scaling, and it is in a massive box. All right, this is the box that was inside the box. Let's look in the accessory box for the Nova Pro UHD Junior. We have some literature. Right. I have a packing list. Ethernet, DVI, USB, HDMI, DP, a custom letter, a quick start guide, and a silicone dustproof plug. Okay. Dear customer, we would like you thank you for choosing this Nova Star product. All right, here's the front of this beast. First, you have the power button, then you have a USB port to connect this to your computer so you can program it using the Novastar software. Then you have your input selection buttons. You have your menu buttons, press it in to select, scroll up and down by turning it, hit escape button to go back one menu window. Picture in picture pulls up your two layers and lets you choose the input and the size. Uh, the scaling button is the automatic scaling uh, that fits your content to your wall and then unfits it if you press it again. Function, I just tested this out and it actually is, it brings up Genlock. I don't know if you can program that to something else, but right now, uh, standard, it brings up the Genlock screen. And then DVI Mosaic um, puts it in a mosaic mode. And all right, that's the front. Oh, nope, I forgot. It also has these cool handle things. Maybe somebody has an idea of what they're for other than just cool handles, but kind of cool. On the inputs, dual DVI 1 and 3 together are 4K by 1K, um, but or you can have all four single link DVI. DP, DisplayPort, HDMI, and SDI are all 4K capable. Just like every other Novastar product, each data port is maxed out at around 655,000 pixels, and it supports a total of 10.4 million pixels. Uh, so, yeah, you can handle a lot more with this thing, obviously. And then you have an HDMI monitor out, and also, just like the Nova Pro, it has built-in fiber converters, except this product will work with the CVT 4K S. And that is a single mode fiber converter. And the way that it works is optical one will send outputs one through eight, and optical two will send outputs nine through 16. And then optical three is the backup of one through eight, and optical four is the backup of nine through 16. So you need to make sure you get the 10G SFP modules, uh, fiber modules that are available from Novastar. You put them in these slots, then you can plug in a fiber cable, single mode into each one of those uh, modules. And then you run the cable all the way up to the front of the wall, right by the wall, and you can have the CVT4K fiber converter, CVT4KS fiber converter at the wall. So your fi fiber cables will go from here to that CVT4KS and then that CVT4KS has 16 data outs just like this, and you can run data lines just like you would without having fiber. Okay, going through the menu on the Nova Pro UHD Junior, screen brightness, screen settings, you can do the quick configuration with your cabinet row quantity, the number of columns you have, the number of panels or cabinets on or frames on the first data port, and then how you, the way you've wired your data as if you're facing the wall from the front. And that'll work for most rectangular walls. You can just get, put that in and start scaling right away. Sure. There is advanced configuration. More settings. layer settings. So apparently with the Nova Pro UHD Junior, you can have three layers. You can have the main layer, two picture-in-pictures, 
and a background, so sort of like four layers. And on each one of these, you go in and you turn it on, you set the input source, scaling mode, height width, X, Y position, you can crop the input, and you set the priority of that window. And so you have that same control for each layer, except for the background layer. Input settings. Image mosaic, when you have two processors on the same wall, you go in here, you turn this on, and then you can tell it how many pixels high and wide the, the whole wall that you're building with the two processors is. And then this right here, the load area width and height, that's how many pixels this particular processor will be handling. And then the, the start position for the part of the picture that this processor is handling is the load area, initial X and Y. Presettings, you have 10 presets in here. Display control. Normal, freeze the screen, black it out, test patterns, image color, advanced functions, HDR10, low latency. Just going through every one here. General settings. Partial device parameters to defaults. No oh, thanks. Communication settings. So you can either have this be, the Nova Pro can either serve as a video controller or a fiber converter itself. So you had two, if you had two of these, um, you can just use one as purely as a fiber converter at the wall instead of buying a CVT4KS. Just switch over to fiber converter mode and put some of the fiber modules into the back of this thing and it will it will take the signal and turn it back into the data outputs. Alright. And that is it. Okay, that's a quick overview of the Nova Pro UHD Junior. I hope it was helpful. I just tried to go through the menu and just give you a quick overview. Actually learned a few things as I was going through that with you, and hopefully it was helpful. Uh, if you need one quick, we do carry these in our uh, our office near Nashville, Tennessee, and so you can just visit the link in the description of the video. Thanks.